Michael, do you have a follow-up question? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, something that uh, I'd like you to elaborate on more is something you just touched on here is the question of energy flux density and economy. And it's something that you discussed over the years, and I think hopefully we're now in a position to demonstrate this over a period of time in the coming years and uh, show how this works. But we've recently demonstrated this on our basement page on this website of the question of all preceding evolutionary periods of the Earth. You've seen from the Silurian to the Devonian with the colonization of land by plants to the uh, Mesozoic to the Tertiary period with the transition from dinosaurs to mammals, a continuous increase of work accomplished by the biosphere. And we've seen that this is the, what the Earth has done continuously over time, which should give us a new metric for uh, why human beings should, be, should do the same. But if you could elaborate on uh, that as a new metric for economy. Yes, yes, that. yes. Delighted to do so. We have to settle some accounts with some evil fellows who've been lying to people for a long period of time. The characteristic of life itself and also of human life in particular is a is that which is lied about by the greenies, by the so-called environmentalists. All environmentalists are by nature liars and perverts. Why? Because contrary to the great lie, huh, nature is not fixed, nor is there a second law of thermodynamics, except in the minds of idiots. The record shows for particularly over a half billion years uh, of our study of life within this galaxy, or the, out of the influence of this galaxy. And what has happened? There's constantly an increase. There is not a decrease. There is not a depletion. There is no such thing as zero growth. There's positive growth. The universe, as we know it, and especially life, is characterized by positive growth. Why are some animals become extinct? Because the, the standard for existence of animal life is increased. That the species which have not improved their energy flux density become extinct, like the dinosaurs. And the second law of thermodynamics is one big lie based on the oligarchical system. There's no truth to this, uh, this idea of that kind of system. It's not true. Therefore, mankind's is, is existence is based on the fact that mankind is the only species of which we know which has the willful power to increase the energy flux density of life as a whole on our planet Earth and beyond. And that's the meaning of this process. The universe is, is moving upward and leaving the greenies behind. We have to understand that this process, that, that life, well, the work of Vanowski and others points in this direction. There are many indications that point in this direction. But the nature of the thing is that the energy, an increase in energy flux density throughout the planet, among the species that inhabit the planet, is the precondition for the survival of any species. Any species that does not rise to a higher level to progress, to greater energy flux density. There's an explanation for this which is rather important to consider. What's the problem? Why do people say that we are using up energy? Why do they say we have these kinds of problems? Well, because the planet is polluted by a certain kind of human being who believes that there are too many human beings on this planet or that mankind is consuming and producing too much power on this planet. They want to stay back to a modest, more modest population, like the British now have ordered. The British royal family has demanded that the population, the human population of the planet be reduced from the order of magnitude of, you know, five billion, uh, trillion, billion years, uh, five uh, tri uh, billion uh, population. Uh, to down to one or less. This is the official policy of the British Empire. 
It's a policy of mass murder. It also is a policy which, if it carried few out, means that the human species will become extinct by the virtue of this policy. And the, the fact of the matter is that mankind's ability to exist as a species, on the one hand, is the fact that mankind is able to increase the energy flux density which we're able to apply to the existence of human beings on this planet. And those who have a contrary view I'll call the oligarchical system. The oligarchical system is a bunch of fruitcakes, to use the term politely, who believe uh, that uh, mankind is, 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 is divided into two groups of people. A small but honorable group of people you know, who believe that there are too many of the lower folk. And we have to reduce and keep down the number of lower class folk in order that the degenerates who call themselves oligarchs will be able to enjoy themselves more freely. It's what Bertrand Russell said. If we could kill enough people in each generation, people could procreate quite freely because they were going to die conveniently after having the little pleasures. And so the, the issue here is that the de destiny of humanity, as the destiny of, of any species, depends upon, as has been demonstrated, by a half billion years of living processes and uh, uh, investigation depends upon increasing the energy flux density per capita. It means increasing the size of the human population. Without those measures, there is no future. And the, the oligarchs will have to become extinct if they continue their policies. Well, if they wish to become extinct, that's their business. But they should not meddle in our bedroom.